I am sorry, I was a Mizuki Ono. You're not doing a curse to me again. She's the ultimate pop sensation. The way she moves is, is she pop. one of your favorite characters? I. Uh, is I that why you're stealing? I don't know the how voice? to answer that. Huh? I don't know how to answer that. Uh, she's not my favorite character. I really like what they do with her, and you'll see why. Um, the way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Because, like, she's clearly, like, the sweet, nice one, you know? Yeah, so give her a country voice. Oh, yeah. Saika Maizono. When I saw her name that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group. <laughs> she makes enough money as it is. <laughs> she's in a... Exactly. She, right? She, she can put that in a bank and fuck... She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. My thoughts were battling there for supremacy. I don't know if you heard that. I kept starting one, then the other, and one. <laughs> As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. <coughs> but actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Oh, that's the voice I gave somebody else. I'm gonna give white hair girl the same thing. Uh, huh? Did you hear me? I'm psychic. Huh? I'm kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, by any chance. Now what? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? self introductions are- I'm just talking with myself for like an hour here. <laughs> self introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. You're right. You're right, sorry Makoto. Sorry Makoto, we can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. <clears throat> but it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Oh my gosh, more of them. Yeah, there's like- <laughs> There's 15 now that I think about it, actually. Okay, now I'll oh, talk man. to those five people over there. <laughs> Who do you want to start with, Dan? Uh, left. I like Oi. Hey, I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? We're just gonna call her Hina. Ultimate swimming pro. Remember, she swimsuit. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even, been, she's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic ca cadet. What the fuck is that? Is that like someone that gets paid by the government to... She is, it's like somebody like, hey, you're definitely going to put you in the Olympics when we can. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed <laughs> online. She got them titties. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Sorry, totally forgot. I was thinking about these titties. Uh, Makoto Nagi. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. <laughs> sure, sure. Got it. I'll hammer it into my brain right now. It's Makoto Nagi <laughs> Makoto Nagi uh, just, just staring fucking fate. I guess they all are, but it's called a picture tone. I know, but hers especially is like ma. Yeah, uh, she's looking straight at you. Yeah, she just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? You don't know if you want to remember someone's name. You gotta write it on your hand three times. I've spent so much time looking at these characters. I've just now noticed, why does she have a belt buckle in her hair? To keep her hair together. That, But that's just a belt buckle, right? Or like a paper clip at best. Sometimes they do things differently in other countries. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> you need to be more respective of their cultures. Like, come on, Tom. I've never heard of that before in my life, Dad. Well, <laughs> that's that's okay. Like, you know, there's new experiences out there. <laughs> you just have to be open. Hi, by the way, do you know, or how do you spell your last name? <laughs> You spell it exactly like it sounds. Um, Which is... <laughs> uh, 
Well, I have no idea. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Just figure it out later and write her down. I think you did all right with giving her the slow, dumb voice. <laughs> anyway. Glad to meet you. <laughs> sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Uh... <clears throat> Name is Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. He already said that. <laughs> Blue. It looks so. It looks, it looks like an armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his brain or something, yeah. <laughs> but it's like coming down his face. Yeah, Mondo Awado, huh? Mondo Akata Homono! He's the leader and of the the names of my uncle. <laughs> and the words of my uncle. Crazy Diamond. He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. You know, like we said earlier. Ugh. Um, nice to meet you too. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Uh, let's see. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. I Chihiro don't have that many voices on my arsenal, Tom. <laughs> I know, but you already gave her a voice and it was like soft girly, I think. Um, well, we have to change that. But she hears the name of the uh, girl in She's Spirited the ultimate Away. programmer. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. She's a robot. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Uh, does not compute. Maybe it is just my imagination circuits, but <laughs> we've met before on a previous date. Meet. Oh, yeah. Good point. Uh, apology uh, tears you, you don't have to apologize for that yeah. oh one <laughs> I get it Chihiro Fujisaki is well known is known for all the cutting edge programs she's created she's the ultimate programmer she's also got that timid little bunny type thing going which has endeared her to legions of fans hey listen I'm not a bunny I am <laughs> Oh, sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Well, you seem upset. You must be mad at me. Yes. I'm terrified for my life, bitch. No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Just lost in thought? What is thought? Yeah, what I had is... nothing to... <laughs> it had nothing... What is love? It had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. What is love? Oh, they had the little fucking poo. <laughs> They're putting this on the Switch, too. This game? Uh, this collection of all of the games. Why? It's not even good. Shit, fuck off. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> and there is an anime, too, actually. I ten minutes of this. <laughs> there is an anime, too, though. Um, oh, okay. It's, so just watch the anime, okay? Well, it's not great. And you kind of have to have oh. played the games to understand at all what the fuck is going on. But oh, they just kind of like refer. Yeah, it sucks ass. But it's like it's there, you know. <laughs> it's it, it, okay. I watched it after this, you know. It's it's bad. Like they use stills for most of the images, which is not ideal. ideal. Mm -hmm. Which is not ideal. That makes it look like a PowerPoint. But yikes. Uh oh, that's good. Uh, that's oh, good. that's good. <laughs> I bad. was afraid maybe you didn't like me. He <laughs> he. I'm glad. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Okay, was that Junko or were you? That's Junko. I'm gonna... Inishima. I think you were Junko. I don't remember, but I'll try. Anybody would recognize this one. Sorry, I'm. She's got. She's more... hot. <laughs> She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I'm. If that was just a shirt, 
I I'll just I'll put like an indicator. Probably not pointing at her boobs. Uh, this one. Yes, this shirt right here. Yeah. The one with the skull on it. If that was just a shirt without the like V-neck, I would totally buy and wear that. That's fantastic looking. Um, I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Oh, uh, that's what it is. Is the like her eyes are paler and her hair is paler, basically. Uh, Am I doing this person? Yeah. Okay. Huh? That's, that's great. Oh, you talking about my photos and junk? Yeah, I was gonna say you picked the perfect voice for her. She's like the Jersey girl. <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photo shops. <laughs> completely accidental. Good job, bud. <laughs> Photoshops. Photoshops? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. You know, cause the fucking industry. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressy. <laughs> totally. I'm like totally. It's no. It's like totally <laughs> normal. Like these days to Photoshop. Like, the crap out of your, like, cover photos. <laughs> yeah, I really like If you you're Marco. surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a, like, certain dangerous love diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and, like, junk super big and, like, tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and, like, porcelain. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Kyoko, that was her name. Kiri Gary, that's what you end up calling her. Hmm. 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 <laughs> um, can I ask your name? Hmm. Kyoko Kirigiri. Kiri Gary. Kiri Gary. The ultimate wah 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 wah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, I, I'm, I'm going to voice her. Like, okay, <laughs> her name sure. didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy thread. Hmm. <laughs> I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What's that supposed to mean? I, uh, I feel like I already have a voice for that. Uh, no, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? I guess... I'm not going to have to worry about overlapping voices at some point. Uh, so what ultimate something are you? Hmm. That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't... I No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Okay. I think about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Hmm. <laughs> her, her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's 14 others, so there's 15 total. Well, uh, those four over there are the only ones left. <laughs> Excuse me, let's go with... Uh... Start on the left. <laughs> Her name is Sakura, which means cherry blossom in Japanese. Nice! <laughs> it's like the most fragile name you can give a girl. Not, not like, but it's like also super stereotypical, but like, uh, uh, mm, you want to do this one or do you want me to do it? I am Sakura Ogami. That's, that's a voice. Did you like really nasally? <laughs> oh geez, I asked, I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I'll get turned into a human meatball. Yeah, Dan, come on. Sorry. But now I remember. She competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. She's totally on roids. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. The <laughs> famed missing link. Savage. Any incoming Hope Peaks, Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. hey, you! Huh? Yes? I snapped her attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. 
Um, what are you? Uh, muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm, what a shame. You're not at all thick to act, fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Um... I'm Yasuhiro Hagaku. That's it. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. I can do this one if you want. Yeah. He's the ultimate clairvoyant. Yeah. Yeah, Yasuhiro Kagakuri, also known as Supernova. Ooh. In the psychic community, the trend setting ultimate clairvoyant has giant hair. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Okay, I'll give up. <laughs> huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Your dick was like out, bro. So what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running <laughs> off with a sky fish in its mouth. <laughs> Said that so confidently with a fucking fist, like. <laughs> <laughs> and that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> Why is he just fucking? I'm not complaining. Please keep this. But like, he's so like. What He's, I am like he's, I have like a bank of like no, ten listen, voices that I can do. That's actually really good. Like the right to try and fucking use them. I can't think of the actor's name. He sounds like that guy in Get Him to the Greek and Bedtime Stories. The long hair, I oh, and that like uh, the know. black hair, long hair. Fuck. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know how to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. We're just grabbing some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lamura and its civilization. Russell Brand. What? Uh, what? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school. We're not allowed to drink. Oh, I'm We're in high school. 21. I haven't held back a few times, see? And well, it's a long story. I'm stupid as shit. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Alright, uh... I think you're gonna shape out having me Byakuya, which is him. Byakuya! So I'll be Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. I like her, obviously. Is it because of her hair? Well, she's a waifu and she's a gambler, is her thing. She's the ultimate gambler. Celeste Luden, huh? Luden, oh! What? What? Ludenberg, my name. If you don't mind, Perk, call me Shirley. I Okay, that's already someone else's name, and I'm Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Of course. Of course, why do you ask? God damn it. <laughs> if you don't mind, can you tell me your real name? <laughs> there was a bug. Sorry, that wasn't your voice. <laughs> I was like, and I leaned back fine. in fear. <laughs> you can hate my voice. <laughs> yeah, no. I wasn't He's really. gonna fucking pick the game with ten people talking. I'm sorry. Actually, I picked the game, but you yeah, gave would... me the option, so it's your I know. Fault. And I said it was like Phoenix Wright, which it is. It just takes a minute to get there, and there's a visual novel that fixed still... Okay. I didn't, I kind of left that part out, but uh, <laughs> that is her real name. Here you go. Is it's your character, isn't it? Well, yeah, but you like seemed like you wanted to do it. I no, was just annoying you. Oh, well, I wasn't trying to be an <laughs> asshole like a hard ass about it or whatever. Right. Uh, but as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. Uh, she's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. God damn it. The self-styled Celeste Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. She's betted twice. Bet. Uh, other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she mm -hmm. earned and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> also, yes, I do love her fucking garb and like hair and everything. Her hair is ridiculous. Yeah, it's crazy. I look forward to getting no I, I look forward to getting to know you better. Yeah. <laughs> that smile's beyond deceptive. I better watch myself around her. Okay. Um, do you want to be Biakya? Yeah, sure. I can do it. Okay. I think you said it. 
ultimate affluent progeny. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations, and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. And that's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thing uh, online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? <laughs> Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. <laughs> As Rory says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. And with that, all the introductions are done. It only, only took an hour <laughs> and ten minutes. <laughs> Basically. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of... Um, something. Okay, time to get down to business. To defeat the Huns. There's no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. You didn't know that? Oh, that's true. <laughs> I think someone said <laughs> something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Uh, uh, I think I gave her the same voice as Celeste. Well, you see. You um, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got in the main hall, we lost consciousness. When we came to, we were somewhere here in school. That's what happened to you, right? <laughs> but, but that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit. Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out, you piece of shit! Wow, his face right now. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? What? That's not... The metal windows! They were on Whoa. the wall. <laughs> uh, it was metal. <laughs> What's the deal with that? But instead of normal glass windows, there's a bunch of big metal plates. What's, What's the that deal about? with the windows? Plus, like, all my stuff's missing. Even, like, my cell phone. I don't remember what I did for this one. I think it was, like, a country voice. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. Ah, uh, that's not the right voice. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What's it doing there? Maybe we got caught in some kind of like, you know, crime or something. A crime or what? something? What? Like a kidnapping? But we're kids. I think maybe someone <laughs> grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. This is all part of school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think? <laughs> oh, so you think you want to do something to surprise us? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Huh? Well, that's it. It's that time for me. You know what I mean? I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating, but then it began. Ding dong, bing bong. <laughs> Good morning, students. Good morning, prisoners. Welcome to your new slave. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Okay, Can you have to be Manakuma. It has to be a solid okay, voice because he's well, consistent. Then. I'll be the narrator and the main character, but you have to be the antagonist. Fine. Am I on? Can I have the, uh... the voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! Yeah, right now! <laughs> What the hell was just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you just excuse me. Hey, what are you? Did you take off like that? <laughs> Sorry, it's really hard to <laughs> just like okay. switch so fast. I know. Oh uh, yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just a 
get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? All right, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why well, have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me, I ain't going with you. Or I won't go with you. That is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway. N not that anyone cares, but I I'm go going to. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. This is a fucking vocal air fucking. I know. What's the word? Gymnastics. <laughs> yeah. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind, and it looked like I wasn't the only one. Um, this, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was, like, totally weird. However. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? Nope, don't give a shit. Uh, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The, on the only choice is to pull ahead. That was it. I, I guess she's right. But still, I'm kinda, no, really nervous. It's me and like six girls. They said to go to the gym, right? We can talk to all these people. All right, well, good talking. All right. Well. Are you okay? Is everything okay? I don't have as much lines now. True, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. This might not be worth it. Uh, I know how you feel, but all we can do now is check it out, right? Uh, um. Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me? Oh, yeah, I can right-click it. Okay. W what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? Yes. Shit, what the kind of game are they playing? What? What the kind of game? What the hell kind of game you're playing? Yeah. What was with that announcement? It was, like, totally creepy. Yes. And then we will run to the gym. This is the wrong way, I think. Nope, this is the right way. We got there. We made it. As long safely. as we got there in the end. Yeah. Take this sword. It isn't even. Oh, God. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. <laughs> my fucking balls. Otherwise, I, I would have asked them to wear stilettos if that was the case. <laughs> okay. It really ain't that much different from that time I spent in juvie. <laughs> Hell, this place is even worse. <laughs> <laughs> and why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. Isn't that like... Seriously... <laughs> not good? <laughs> I'm strangely I, good at that I like the idea of her like working through it, and yeah, you're really fucking good at that, which is a bother. Uh, they, they're just... Uh, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. My sweat doesn't just doesn't give me away at all. Uh, all, that we, all that we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, whoever called us here? Mondos, no, stop running. I do shall go. Wait, don't leave me all alone. That was the same pitch, I think. That was, was pretty good. You can press tab and it's like, these are the things you can do. Oh, press, that's nice. Yeah. Um, we're gonna talk Kyoko. Hmm. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Maybe she's Probably. like, disassociative. <laughs> she just doesn't know where she is either. Uh, where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? Because they ran away, then you pay attention, you bumble. Yeah, we just yeah. said that. A display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all the rewards. We got Chuko. I'm totally getting a bad ride right now. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And what I saw, and I saw waiting for us there was... More students! Yeah, the same ones, but... Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. I guess I didn't need to lead that, like, hanging See, like that. See, told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Ah, uh, Hero was right. But in a way, that just, uh, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. 